Before we can do anything with our objects or change them in any way, we have to select them first. So let's practice that next. To select something, just left click on it in the 3D view. Here I'll select the light, and now you can see it's highlighted over here in the outliner. Now we haven't talked about the outliner yet, but it's essentially just a hierarchical description of our scene. So if I select our cube, you can see that the cube object is highlighted over here. And if I select the camera, then it's gonna to jump to selecting the camera icon. As you might guess, we can also select things over here in the outliner. So if I select the cube row, it'll select the cube. And if I click on the light, it'll select the light. You'll notice that as I do this, the options down below jump around a little bit. And that's because this editor down here is the properties editor. This is where we can change the properties for our object. And of course, different objects have different properties. We'll talk about that a little bit more later, but for now, let's just get a bunch of practice selecting our objects. Again, just left click in the 3D viewport. If you left click empty space, then it'll deselect everything. If you want to add to your selection, then you can use the shift hotkey. So first I'll left click the cube here, and then I'll hold the shift key. And you'll notice in the bottom right here that I'm still holding it down. And then I can left click on the lamp here. And now I have both of them selected. You can see that reflected over here in the outliner as well. One of them's highlighted a little bit lighter, the most recent one that I selected, but the cube is also highlighted as well. I can hold shift and also select the camera. And then I can also use this shift hot key to remove things from my selection. So if I have all three of these selected, then I can hold shift and left click on the cube. And first that'll jump it to the active object, which means it's gonna be highlighted a little bit differently. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. But if I hold shift and left click again, then that'll deselect it. Now I just have the camera and the light selected. So what is this whole active object thing? And why are some of these highlighted a little bit differently than the others? If we just select one thing at a time, you'll notice that it has a pretty bright glow around it. But if I select multiple things, all the other objects have more of a dull orange glow rather than a bright orange one. Blender uses the concept of an active object for a variety of things. But one of the most important is that's just the one that you're going to be editing in the properties editor. So if I make the cube the active object, then I'm editing the cubes properties. And if I'm making the light the active object, then I'm going to be editing the lights properties. You can also select things up here in the outliner, just like you would in a file browser. So of course we can click to select, but then we can also click and then hold shift and left click to select a range of objects. Or if we want to only select two specific objects, I can hold control and again, left click another object and that won't select everything in between. Again, very similar to a file browser. We already talked about how we can left click anywhere into empty space in order to deselect everything but then we can also select everything all at the same time by going to select and all, or using the hotkey A. So again, I'll left click into empty space here, and then just hit A on my keyboard to select everything. That might be helpful if, for example, we want to delete everything and start over. If you don't want to left click into empty space to deselect, we can also use the hotkey Alt A, or go into our menu, I'll just use A again to select everything, go to select, and choose none. There's also plenty of other handy options in the select menu, so I'd recommend looking through it. For example, invert. Let's say I have the cube and the light selected, and instead I just want to select the camera. Well, then I can go to select and invert and flip which objects are selected and which ones aren't. There's also one more way of selecting objects, and that's with our active tool. You've probably noticed already that we have a toolbar here in the left of the 3D view. And right now we have a box selection tool enabled. So if we left click and drag, then we can use that to select any objects that we want. Any objects that are not within this box will not be selected. If you want to change the behavior of the box selection tool, then you can use the settings up here on the top left. So instead of choosing the dashed line box, we can use the option next to it to extend the existing selection. So now we can only add to the selection by left clicking and dragging. Or we can use the subtract to take things away from the selection. We could use the invert mode to flip whatever is within the box. Or we could use the intersect mode to keep whatever's in the box selected while deselecting everything outside the box. But to be honest, I pretty much never use these last two. Because we can always use our shift hotkey in order to add or remove from the selection. So again, just orbit around, left click and drag in order to select some objects, and then hold shift and left click in order to remove things from the selection. You can also hold the control hotkey while using the box selection tool to deselect things that way. So let's say I selected everything here and I want to deselect the camera. Well, I can hold control here, left click and drag, and that will remove things from my box selection. There are a couple other selection tools as well that we have available, but they're not immediately obvious because we have to left click and hold here in order to expose them. Any one of these tools that has a little triangle in the bottom right has a few other options to it. So if we left click and drag, 
we can see that we also have a tweak tool. So I'll just let go of my mouse button here while hovering over the tweak tool, and that'll switch to it. Now when I left click and drag, instead of creating a box, it's just going to allow me to move any object that's under my mouse. This is mostly useful for modeling, and allows me to move things around really quickly if I need to. So go ahead and try moving things around. We'll talk a lot more about moving and rotating in the next lesson. If I left click and hold on this tool again, I can go down to select circle, and this is more like a paint select tool. We have similar options up here at the top where we can only add to our selection. Hold Alt A to deselect everything and just paint over these to select them again. Or we can use the remove from selection. And we can also change the radius here. Lastly, we also have a familiar lasso select. This is helpful for being really exact in what we select and what we don't. But for now, I'm going to go back to our box select because that's my favorite. So we just covered a bunch of different ways of selecting objects, and I'd really recommend going back through the video and trying all of them yourself before moving forward. Work on getting really comfortable with navigating the viewport and selecting, and then you'll be ready to start moving and transforming objects.